Hi everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen. I'm back with one of the restaurant's favorite dishes, which is baked fish with vegetables. I bought this nice selection of vegetables at Pete's um, Produce Market or Pete's Farm Produce in Westchester. So if you Google it with Pete's Local Produce or something like that, Westchester, you will find it. They have amazing products that they grow themselves over there. This is going to constitute my side. And then I got the fish from an Asian uh, grocery store because it's usually cheaper and uh, it's always fresh. Uh, it's rarely farm fish. It's usually, uh, you know, wild. And this is a sea bass that I had them clean for me. Today, I'm also going to use some extra virgin olive oil that I brought from my last trip from Italy. To season the fish, I am going to use the Ariosto mix for fish uh, that has fresh herbs and salt already. And just a little bit of the one for the uh, potatoes for the vegetables. The first thing I'm going to do is prepare the vegetables because timing wise, Preparing the fish, it's not going to be very difficult. If you cut the potatoes in thin enough slices, they will have the same baking time as the fish. So if you don't have a mandolina, use a sharp knife and cut thin, even slices, just like this one. Huh? I did a good job. They don't have to be too thin because otherwise they'll burn, but cut them too big and they will not have the same cooking time as the rest of the vegetables. There is nothing I hate more than raw potatoes. Here we go. Now take this and place it on your baking pan. Next up I'm going to prepare the zucchini and I don't want to make too much because I don't want to waste it. Um, so I'm going to use half of the yellow one and half of the green one to get a nice bright color collection in my dish. And let's throw some peppers in there, wash the outside, cut a little slice off of each one of them and throw away the seeds and wash them in the inside too. Cut them from the inside going towards the outside. I'm gonna hold it still because otherwise it slips. Throw, Throw everything in there. As you see, I put the, the potatoes on the bottom so they'll get the humidity from the rest of the vegetables and they'll cook better. And then everything else that I want a little bit golden brown on top Let's put some olive oil and let's try this. I've never tried it before, so today would be a good day. It's a good day for experimenting. Mix it up. The Ariosto mix has salt in it already, so I don't have to worry about that. Now for the fish, put a couple of spoons of oil in a separate bowl with a teaspoon of the Ariosto mix. Shake it before you use it. Just mix it well with the oil so it will go evenly on the fish. We put it in a baking pan with all its nice oil and herbs. Let's let everything cook for about 20 minutes. After a little over 15 minutes that my vegetables are cooking, I check on them and I think they're ready to be turned. See, they're all the way cooked. Now all they need to do is brown. So with the help of a spatula and another utensil, I found a spoon. I'm just going to flip them, spread them back around, and throw them back in the oven. All right, everything is done. The vegetables have a nice uh, brownish color. I'm gonna, with the help of a spatula, I'm gonna put them in the plates. I'm gonna take my filet, 
fish. There we go. If there is any sauce at the end of the, at the bottom of the fish pan, pick it up with a spoon and put it on the fish. There it is. These are my plates. Once they're complete, I am going to try one of the vegetables so I can tell you if I like the herbs I put on it or not. It's good. It's a great alternative to salt, definitely, because besides salts, it also adds, you know, some thyme and um, rosemary. Our potatoes are awesome, perfectly cooked. The zucchini are still firm, but brown on the outside. I love it. And the fish is delicious. I've already tried it before. <laughs> And um, I think the Ariosto mix for fish, it's great, it's a must have. It just gives it a very authentic flavor without being overwhelming. I definitely recommend it. Thank you for following The Real Italian Kitchen. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it. Find me on Facebook, Real Italian Kitchen or on Blogspot. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.